come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. We're on a mission to conquer the world, and we're hoping that you'll help us with that by going over to wherever you found us and hitting that like or subscribe button, because all of that stuff helps us out. It helps us in our mission, in our goal. To conquer the world, to one conquer human the world. being at a time. I mean, right. we're already pod gods, pod allegedly. Gods. So. Pod gods. Hashtag Recently pod gods. Yeah. pod gods. Yeah. There's uh, some and I'm people in this it. movie that were pod gods. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. Well, we should probably tell... Well, first of all... Uh, Who are these people? That's right. They're the internet <laughs> radio superstars. Are we? You can't be sure, but I will... Portray Sean tonight. <laughs> Michaela. Holly. I'm pretty sure I'm Colin. <laughs> and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Holly, what did we watch tonight? Tonight we watched a movie called Significant Other. Ah, from the year. 2022. This from is a year, recent from one. From the yesteryear. Yeah. Yes. This one and like came out like towards the end of 2022. Yeah, I was just saying. It's say, very recent. Is, um, yeah. Uh, starring. Starring? Or that's where we're going first? Yeah, I want to say starring. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would... Okay. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Micah Monroe okay, mm-hmm. yes. and uh, Jake Lacey mm-hmm. are our stars. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, directed by. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Dan Burke and Robert Olson. Can we not just list everybody mm-hmm. and then go from there? Well, I, this is, you're out of order. <laughs> <laughs> no, Listen, what, order okay. Think, what order Sean? I decide is the order. <laughs> All right. Well, it's, the pod yeah. god right there. Pod <laughs> god. Uh, okay. Sean. Okay. Somebody's got to make All a decision. Right. All right. Sean's first commandment. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Direct- yeah. As pod god. <laughs> Directed and written by Dan Burke and Robert Olson. Who are, would we know them from anything else? Um, Possibly. Um, so they did a movie called Body in 2015. I don't know nope. if you're familiar. Nope. They also did Villains in 2019. Also that Bill Skarsgård movie? Yes. With I okay, okay. that movie was that fun. I like that movie. Or is that the one with uh, no. Michael Monroe? Weaving. Michael Monroe is in uh, uh, Villains, Villains. Okay, 2019. Yes. Yes. That looked. I yeah. haven't seen it. That it was fun. I liked it. It's a fun movie. Yeah, I liked good. it. I was actually going to say, Michaela, if you hadn't already seen, it, mm-hmm. I was going to tell you to watch yeah. it. But it is I really liked it. If you're looking up this movie, what's Villains about? Villains is it, it's kind of got barbarian vibes. Yeah, it's honest. kind of like a home invasion. It looked like a comedic type. funny game. Yeah, yeah, that's a very pretty good way of game. putting yeah, it. No, yeah, that's a good way of looking at yeah. it. Yeah. It's a horror comedy thriller. Um, yeah, Bill Skarsgård and Micah Monroe are the the stars, and then it's also a uh, uh, Kira Sedgwick. Yeah, yes, yeah. and um, oh God, I can't remember his name. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Bill, but no, not Bill. Um, Bart. But yeah. Uh, Bill Skarsgård and Micah Monroe are like on the lam. They've just like robbed a convenience store and they get stranded and they come across a house, break in, and I'm not going to say anymore. Okay. All right. So that's, that's okay. So it's Villains was the movie they did prior to this too. one. Yes. That's 2019. I recommend Villains. It's a, it's an entertaining movie. Okay. I had a good time with it. Yeah. And this I like movie, it. I know you're saying that it came out at the end of last year, but mm-hmm. it was it direct to Paramount. Plus, it was, yeah, okay, yes, because Paramount's been doing that weird thing where they have movies that may end up in theaters or may end up kind of like Universal's doing with Peacock. This is the line, and Hulu and Fox is uh, Mm -hmm. well, that's what it feels like. Could go to Paramount Plus, yeah, watching this, it felt like a theatrical film. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, in, a, in an alternate time, you know, this would have been uh, yes. in theaters, but it's mm-hmm. like, meh, the executives say, well, it's not, it's on the bubble. Then like, meh, okay, this yeah. one goes to streaming. But now we can try and bump up I our want to know how, like, I'd love to be in the room when those conversations are being made or had, just yeah. to like understand where how the break point is. Well, made? Oh, I think but, I'm guessing there's data that backs up. Oh, like, sure. Uh, well, know, all data. Skipping over some important context here that they also had Orphan First Kill come out the same like two months prior on Paramount Plus, right? And then, but that was first two theaters release. That was so, it simultaneous or no? I think it was simultaneous, but yeah. it did get a theatrical release where this did not, but as I far as I know. There was uh, Paramount but, Plus also did the uh, Paranormal Activity, like right, they gave a promotional right. push for it, but that was. Just but I, I just saying, if you're if you're working in Paramount Plus in the horror department. Like all your resources are going to Orphan First Kill, right? Over this movie, like that's that's their big thing of yeah, year, probably you know? most likely. because there's marketing. Yeah, that, you'd mo- be that like, movie had money, more money behind it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I could have swore this was in theaters for like maybe a day. I. Maybe. I don't think it and, was. I but, think it was direct. Uh, I guess Micah Monroe also is probably not like a big enough of a draw. Although she had um, a good year last year. Yeah, because mm-hmm. uh, you know, Watcher. a Watcher was in theaters. 
But I guess then a different company is sitting there going like, Micah Monroe is a valuable asset, and Paramount's like, eh, she's not big enough. Even though in this movie, I did like the fact that she was has graduated now to executive producer. I don't yeah. know if this is the first movie she's executive producing. I don't know. But that always seems like somewhere on the career ladder, yeah. you get to have like, you get to get some back end money off mm-hmm. of the movies that you're in and also yeah. and a, and a big, get it made. And, get it made. And, and as we, as we get into this, we'll, you know, listeners will understand why. Um, Cause first of all, tons of spoilers about to happen with this movie. So yeah. you should watch, if you are interested in watching it, you should watch it before you listen to this. Or just um, go read yeah, cause our comments. I don't think there's a, <laughs> yeah, that's also true. I don't think there's a way we can talk about it without yeah. kind of spoiling and, what's going to happen. And that's, an, and that's one of the reasons I wonder if that was, part of why they couldn't really get much marketing behind it because how do you the, sell this movie? The trailer was very specifically crafted to not give anything away. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is, you should also say None that, this like, would have been revealed that yes. Sean and I hadn't seen this. Holly, right. you and Michaela had. Yes. We both watched it. It's part of our year in uh, end of finals cramming for our best of the year episode. Right. We were texting each other like parallel watching it. Yeah, and she was like 20 minutes ahead of yeah. me and watching <laughs> And I texted her and I was just like, at a certain point I just texted her and all I said was I think we need to bring this to the freak show and then I stopped saying giving any details until she caught up yeah. to the turn and then we started being like okay this is crazy right and yeah. then yeah, and then we both kind of agreed to not put it on our list because we just wanted to do a proper episode uh, on it. So, and then we were given Sean and I were given explicit instructions not to read the mailbag, Correct. not no. to look Correct. up anything. Yeah. That the IMDb entry alone would spoil the, the movie. And I guess I don't know. If we, yeah, the say IMDb that that like the character names spoil it. Uh, yeah. The okay. yeah. description and the genre tags kind of spoil it. Okay. So, yeah, just sure. it's what best the to That's they. Well, well, we're going to get into spoiler yeah, oh, territory yeah, yeah. now if we start talking about it. But well, I guess the thing. So, uh, and and all I knew about it was uh, Michaela provided the or Holly. You guys provided the photos yeah, that yeah, were going to be used mm-hmm. for this week's, uh, you know, Mailbag like, and, yeah. and so then it was like, okay, it's called um, Significant Other. It's about this couple that goes hiking. And so you're like, well, this could be anything. They could yeah, run yeah, into yeah. a wilderness, you know, like thing. <laughs> you can really find in anything in the woods. Yeah. And all all you can be certain of men or, is there'll be tension put on their relationship, yes. right? You know that their oh, yeah. relationship is going to be tested. Yes. On the relationship. We're yep. coming in with trauma. Yep. That we will discover. And in this and this environment, being in the woods is gonna be like the the pressure cooker for the strain right. on the relationship. Right. Right. Yeah. Which is basically I guess that is the movie that you get. Yeah. But how you get there is uh I guess zigs and zags a bit, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, well, in hindsight, so I'm thinking like, I mean, the movie starts off with like this shot of a, a landscape and then you see a comet, the red star comes mm-hmm. down, falling to earth and like, it looks like the Pacific Northwest or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So I guess right off the bat, you're kind of like, okay, this could be like a horror themed sci-fi kind of thing. There's uh, clicking noises like the predator in the mm-hmm. woods and, um, I care. I believe you see a deer, and the deer is attacked yeah. by some kind of by specifically an alien life. Form. Yes, so yeah. we're a, like, like okay. tentacle so yeah. type, right? Uh, ten- mm-hmm. the, what is now yeah. the alien of the 21st century? The tentacle that comes up, mm-hmm. and, yeah, but, the venom so, tentacle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So there is no kind of mystery as far as that is concerned. We're like, it's a sci-fi movie, alien. sci-fi mm-hmm. horror movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Micah Monroe is in this, and she has been, um, I mean, she's the It Follows girl, right? It's mm-hmm. yeah. the guest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The guest is really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I like yeah, the guest. I like the guest a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, an unfortunate segue into uh, Independence Day Resurgence. Uh, mm-hmm. You guys really hated that I think movie. That was that my fucking worst movie. movie. It's another one of those movies my parents watch and went, and it's horrible. You guys got like, heated about that one. I remember that. that. Terrible. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> oh, and Judd Hirsch is like the second build in that movie, and I love Judd Hirsch, but man. <laughs> yeah. That's not what you want in your second. No. When was the last so time bad. Judd Hirsch was the second build in something? I know, right? Well, yeah, that's why that's he loved it. I'm sure. You know, and I understand why she did it because it was a uh, you know paycheck, and it's like it's a sequel to Independence Day. Right? Like, if I was an actor trying to make it, and that someone said, "Oh, do you want this part in Independence Day Resurgence?" You take it. Fuck yeah, yeah you don't. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah you, know, you, know, you, know, because, you know, well, I mean, with the reputation the previous movie yeah. had, yeah. you get your name out there, mm-hmm. and even if you get a big paycheck yeah. and it's a bummer, 
the whole movie, you can move on after. Yeah, crazy not to. Because yeah. no one, yeah. I don't think it's going to blame you for that movie. No. Well, nobody no. saw it, so yeah. she's got that going for her that people mm-hmm. don't remember she was in Independence right. Day Resurgence. Yeah, <laughs> until you know we keep bringing it up. Right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, she's been in a bunch of, I guess, genre, genre horror movies yeah. and stuff like that mm-hmm. that kind of puts her on our radar. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, lucky are we to have her. You know, yeah. I'm yeah. glad she's sticking we, around. I think we all talked about her watch sad, her. Sad eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her yeah. Very I'm hoping she goes the Maya Wachowski. Oh, Maya Yeah, what, what, that, yeah, that, that career yeah. route, you know, like what? stay Ooh. doing. Like, Why? You want her to be in? Disney? You want to be in shitty <laughs> well, big okay. budget Tim Burton movies? No, but I guess maybe. Okay, she, that's what, where she you, started. Like, in my mind, she. Where does, did she end up? Uh, I couldn't tell you the last David time I saw her in a movie. Uh, movie. Who are we talking about? Mia Wasikowska. She was yeah. in like uh, Stoker she and in Crimson Peak. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, okay. Those are things. Right, the, I but I guess I keep on forgetting that Alice in Wonderland was That's like, like what I think of. Like, yeah. Her, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I, but I blocked she's, that one out. No, but she, she's done. She was in um, Crimson Peak. She was in Only Lovers Left Alive. Mm-hmm. She was in some. She made. Yeah. I, I thought interesting career choices, which yeah. I think Micah Monroe does too. And so yeah. hopefully yeah. she's still. These movies that she's in are successful and she's mm-hmm. able to do that. Um, the other guy is played by Jake Lacey, who you would know from, uh, most people would probably know him from later seasons of the office. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also in season one of white Lotus. I don't know. Mm-hmm. If you What's guys his name in the office? Plop. plop. Why is it plop? <laughs> well, because so it's, this is the, like the later seasons after, after Steve after Crow's Steve left, left. I and watching. Andy has taken over Ugh. and Andy, like they, they get new interns yes. and they look, the interns, they look it? exactly like. Jim and Dwight and they even call it out on the show and they're like oh it's the new Jim and Dwight and Andy hates that they're getting all the attention especially from Aaron so he's tries to give them unflattering nicknames and yeah. so he's like no his, we should call him Plop. Yeah, his name is Pete. <laughs> yeah his name is Pete. <laughs> Pete calls but, Plop. but everybody but then it's it gets contagious and everybody starts calling a plop so yeah. he becomes okay. plop for three seasons <laughs> yeah so. he's i mean three he's, seasons is plop <laughs> it's probably yeah, something oh like God. that That's yeah there's crazy. there's a bit later on where he, Andy finds out that Aaron's dating someone named Pete and he doesn't remember that's his real name. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, you mean Plop? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Okay, but no, he was funny. in season one of White Lotus, which he plays such a dick on that show. But he it's, it's I plays so good. that very well. And, but he was in a movie called um, Obvious Child. Oh, I, I forgot he was in that. Movie. That's it's a, a good great movie. movie. It's a good movie. It's a really great Jenny no, I've Slate. Heard it's good. I yeah, love I heard it's very good. I She's fantastic. But he's he's just a sweet person in that movie. But that was I think that was is that the first time I saw him? Is he out of the office? But yeah, he's he's a good actor. Considering where this movie goes, he's well cast in this because yeah, he can he can play yeah. both sides of the line very well. Yeah, he's a good actor. I think. Yeah, because I he, think he makes you feel things. I think this movie does not work if you don't have two good actors with chemistry, right? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like this movie, yeah. could, it's so much time spent with just these two. Yeah. It yeah. could so not work. So well, they're the only people in the at the, the beginning mm-hmm. uh, cast list. It's so, telling you there's just two people in it, and mm-hmm. you're like, okay, this is going to be like a really small kind of mm-hmm. intimate movie. Yeah. What kind mm-hmm. of chemistry do we think they have? Do you guys are good with their chemistry in this I'm, movie? Yeah, because do you not remember the first act when well, you when you literally said, I miss having that relationship about them? For that moment, yeah. yes. Here's here's the thing. I'm good with. But their then chem- I learned that they were together six years. That's the thing. I'm good with their chemistry. I'm good with. The if way they've they been dating for a year, I, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't buy them being together six years. Never. No. But I, I buy them being together. I'm not. Mm. Re- I guess I'm more just speaking about actor on actor chemistry. Yeah, no, that's oh, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Absolutely. I feel yeah. like they have yeah. good chemistry together as actors. Story wise, too, yeah. which yeah. I guess in the long term doesn't really matter because mm-hmm. this is where they are yeah. at this point. I just think that if you're going to mention it. I don't it think they needed. Like they should I don't, be farther, I don't but, think they needed to put an, a year on it. But anyway, yeah. they, I think yeah. that's the thing. I yeah. think I'm getting stuck on. That, you are, and which I don't I know shouldn't. why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is not a six year relationship. But again, but I'll it back doesn't. Off but it that. doesn't really matter no. to the movie as a whole, does but it? I, I think like, it does as far as knowing each other and what. Uh, I mean, how we get into the situation. This is the issue you have with this movie. Well, you're it going, is. Because all going, the places this movie goes, later, and this how is the, the characters issue. Like, are asking them <laughs> to marry them, and how the, how you can't. He should know what her reaction is going to be. They should yeah. know each other better 
than what I think this movie. But wants you're talking to, do. to like plausibility. Yeah, it's, as it, far as how as far uh, what they're gonna. You know, I know, but when you but the word plausibility in the discussion about this movie, it's insane okay. that this is what we're dissecting right, right but now. But I had those issues before the plausibility like <laughs> yeah. went out the window <laughs> yeah. with aliens no, no, no. and like, shit. Like, like so I, said, I still had those feelings. Like my th- before everything changed. My thing is like I'm with you. They shouldn't have put a year on it because yes. that doesn't really make sense. Right. I'm just not as hung up on it. I just, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we're spending <laughs> this much time talking. I know, about but I got hung up on it before you know. Sure. fucking aliens and shit sure. so no but um it stuck with me no but it was really important for them to have a chemistry I've, I've read a lot about the making of this movie and dan burke and robert olson were talking about how it's such a small family in the production of this i bet um because this was this was filmed during covid mm. and that was that was they were like we want to make a movie what can we do during covid mm-hmm. let's make it outside mm-hmm. how many people we can have very few people. Yep. Mm-hmm. So like they just kind of built with what they had. Um, but they had already done villains with um, Micah Monroe and they had already used the same um, cinematographer. They'd already used is basically a crew that was already working together for many right. years. It's like, well, what should we do next? Well, let's just right. hang out and keep doing so this thing. The only one was uh, Jake Lacey was the first one. Like kind of the outsider group. coming in. And do you they, happen to know the budget for this movie? I don't know the budget for this. It feels um, I do know that they said that the budget for this, uh, the the special effects budget for this movie was the same as the entire budget for villains. <laughs> wow, mm. that's wow. crazy. So, well, I mean, you know, you're saying it's cheap, but I mean, it, it does feel, yeah. um, feel it, it feels no, like a very him. slick movie, you mm-hmm. know, for, I mean, it's well done. There's some transitions that are like, ooh, that's pretty clever. And, yeah. You know, so that's it doesn't nice feel like. Uh, shots. Yeah. They literally like expected to go in this just filming a movie on their iPhone. Oh. And, and then it feels better than and then that. Param- oh, yeah, definitely. Well, and then Paramount that. picked it up and threw money at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so they're on yeah. this hike, right? Mm-hmm. And yes. we understand that there's tension between the couple kind of a little bit at the beginning, right? Because mm-hmm. I like this because I'm always trying to go like, okay, you know, you're, you're like, what are you giving me? And how much am I filling in around? Mm-hmm. You know, we know that she has some kind of trepidation about going into the woods and right. you're like okay that's her setting up something else you know she says something she's a surfer she's comfortable yeah. in the ocean and he's like he's like the ocean's way more dangerous there's sharks yeah. remember that for later yep. um all sorts of shit and like i agree with him ocean's way scarier to me than the, the woods but um but she's just like well it's not the same it's just i'm just not comfortable here and this mm-hmm. is he says this is his fourth time doing this hike so he's yep. familiar with the yeah. terrain in the area so. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so they go hiking. They uh, the they camp. They the have uh, the forest. <laughs> what scares you more? Definitely I'm the ocean. Out, right? the, the ocean forest. is uh, well. The well, beach. The, the, the beach is okay. The forest is there's you know there's things in there that can kill you. I mean, your beach. Uh, right? The ocean is way scarier if you go in the water. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> he was saying beach. That's where I'm drawing the line. But you're like, right. It really, the water you can't yeah. see what's. She's under, going right. surfing. Surfing's yeah, pretty fucking dangerous. Like depends on what we're arguing. Yeah. Very different yeah. topics depending on how far you go so into it. It's so dark in the woods. Yeah, but for someone to go, like, be comfortable, sur- I agree. For someone to be comfortable surfing, especially in, like, in shark infested water, and then be scared of the woods is kind of crazy to me. Like, yeah. like yeah. you know. Yeah, because there's, like, like, an adventurous spirit. I yeah. Think, that, you know, because seems that's like way translates. more dangerous than walking through the woods. But yeah. that's Very why true. I, I would rather go walking through the woods than, than go, go surfing. surfing. Exactly. Yeah. But, but remember, kinda, they get... are taking, like, a five day hike. Yeah. They're going, like, Which, around camping or something. Camping in the middle of. Of nowhere and shit in the woods. Five day hike with someone. <laughs> mm-hmm. It feels like that relationship should be farther. Ah, never mind. Let's. Get well, let's not. Oh like God. Well, okay, I no. guess what I would say is, that, like, the idea that she wasn't comfortable there made me think that maybe there was some kind of like she'd been, had a thing that happened to her in the That's woods or what something I thought before, too, mm-hmm. and that we were yeah. get that. But no, that doesn't. She just has anxiety. And yeah. also, okay, but if she has anxiety and she hasn't been on this trail in the woods and everything, why would you go for five days? Wouldn't you want to ease that person into it a little bit? It more? might be just how the trail. Some trails that's like but they're you, only but, one way, and you know, you it's, find it's, a place where you don't have to go in so far where mm-hmm. you could come back. You know, mm-hmm. it just seems like the, she, they're putting a lot on her, considering she has trepidation for doing mm-hmm. this. Five days in the woods, yeah. And we learn like that she mm-hmm. has a panic attack. She has anxiety. She has a panic attack because um, oh well, we, there is like a there's the brief stop off at the burger joint, the Bigfoot Burger. Oh, the, I love this scene. Bigfoot Burger. <laughs> Um, nice scenic, you know, rustic oh restaurant in the Pacific Northwest yeah. where this kid dish, uh, not bus dish, boy. Bus only boy, if they comes were out. claiming it was made from real Bigfoots. And <laughs> he says, 
he like comes up to the table. It's all very creepy, like, and he says, "Did you see the red star fall?" Huh. From and you're like, "What the hell is going on?" And then, like whisper, like you know, you know, like, and he's like nervous, like he's visibly yeah. shaking, yeah, and he won't scared. make eye contact. Like I can't like, say this scared. too loud. Yeah. I think his my mom, mom is an alien. That's what I, I thought. think. There's another story here. He's, yeah, where the kid knows his mom's an alien. And that's a whole separate thing. That's what I was kind of, I'm like, this is a pod people situation or I something feel like, like it. that. There was also a scene, I think I pointed out during the, the movie, as they're walking in, there's these eerie scenes where Micah Monroe looks behind her. And the trail is empty, but you're either like, okay, what are we setting up here? Either the thing is there and it's looking at her and she can't see it. Or I was briefly thinking there's some kind of time warp is going to happen. <laughs> I like this, though, right? Like, <laughs> as you're trying to suss out, like, what's going on in the movie, <laughs> You know, you're like, okay, well, it could be this. It could be this. And, you know, Mm -hmm. trying to build the case of what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. And the movie does actually take a little while before it tells you what's Mm -hmm. happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, So there's a big freak out scene Mm -hmm. that happens at the top of a cliff. He's going to take her up there. Yeah. He's taking her to a special spot. He wants to show her this gorgeous view where it's just like looking out on the ocean. And it is a great view. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a good looking movie. Yeah, no, this entire movie was filmed in Oregon, mm-hmm. different locations. That makes sense. But it's it was beautiful. all, yeah, like. It feels these, like Oregon, these, Washington. These are all there. real places and it's beautiful. I know. I was jealous yeah. of all their camping and shit. It looks so nice. This is where the woods are. Yeah, I was like, yeah. these actors got a nice little vacation out of making right. this movie. The cinematographer is very much like an outdoorsy guy and he was like shitting his pants. He was so excited yeah. to do this movie. He was like <laughs> so excited. Um, but no, so this moment, he's taking her to have this like special moment with her, and it's a beautiful view, perfect moment to pop the question. He's going to propose to her. No, that doesn't go well, because she freaks she, out. She has a panic attack. And he says, does. And they've also no. discussed, she doesn't want to get married. Yeah, and he just thing. didn't listen, apparently. He apparently yeah. just didn't <laughs> Or just didn't care, and said, well, I still want to. Yeah, he's, like, I mean, he said, he's like, well, I didn't want to freak you out, so I didn't exactly voice my true opinions on this. But Yeah. yeah. Which, is, this it's again, this of, seems like a, we should know so each you, other. So you better. lied, and now you're mad at me? Because I believed your lie? Like, <laughs> that's kind of what he did to her. Yeah. But uh, uh, this scene, okay, I remember when I first saw this, I was not expecting a big cringe moment in this movie. And this, like, this cringe is bad, man. It, this scene, the way it just lingers on, like, the heartbreak on his face and then him being, like, yeah, trying gonna... to laugh it off and be like, no, it's okay. I texted you. I was like, oof, there's a big cringe, cringe scene coming, <laughs> heads up. And then, but after that, I was like, okay, this movie is, like, gonna go there. Yeah. So I'm in. You know, I'm like thinking about that and I'm like, I'm like, you know, did she ever say that she didn't want to get married the way it played? And I guess the way that I read it, it almost felt like they hadn't talked about it. before. No, she it says just, she's like, you know, the stuff from my back. She says, I told you I never wanted to get married. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. She, she literally says, says that. Says yeah, explicitly she does. That they have yeah. talked about this before. She does not want to get married. Which yeah. is why so I'm it's like, it's on like, him. Why like, is he yeah. just going it, with cause this? Because she, she literally says, like, I thought you were on the same page. And he's like, because I didn't want to freak you out. He said, I didn't want to scare you off, yeah. so I agreed. And yeah, so he he lied to her and then was mad that she believed his lie. Like, it's it, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, guy. This guy. Yeah. Well, her reasoning was kind of interesting. She said that basically, I mean, I guess his relationships progress. You know, she's like, I like where we're at right now. Mm-hmm. And she does love him. Mm-hmm. But she's like, at some point, you know, people change. You're going to change. And, you know, maybe that person will love me or maybe they won't mm-hmm. i'm all for the, her, this i agree this, with. yeah this, this, I'm all, this is a good little i understand but this that. is yeah. also setting up the you know right. like, i like that the, they're going to yeah. theme here and they in, are. This, like, in case you, know. you change <laughs> yeah at some point. I it's it's a it's a literal conversation and a figurative uh-huh. conversation right. at the same it's time pretty, yeah pretty good. small yeah. and very large yeah. at certain points and then that night at the campsite she finds the deer that she had seen the night before this deer that we see at the beginning of the movie that's kind of creepy looking when we know that like the alien got to it and it, mm-hmm. she sees it at one point staring at her in the distance and then they come upon it in the woods with a split head and the rest of its body seems uh that a fungus has been growing on it or something it's very dark it's and very black like a black, black. fungus which yeah. as we discussed i think during the movie we were just like does this seem out of the or aside from the split head which who knows in the mm-hmm. woods but does this seem out of the ordinary for the reaction they have to it. I think it's disturbing, but I think it's just her general character that has such intense anxiety. I mean, like, it, anxiety. it would be a disturbing thing to see. And yeah, like, I get I it. Mean, I get it set her off, but 
I, I mean, anytime you find something dead and you're unexpecting it, sure. it's, it's it's not pleasant. Like, right. no, have you got, having cats, have you guys never come across something they've killed and been like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. you know, like. But, yeah, but that's usually the reaction. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, right. oh, that's kind of. You know. But that's like, like a bird. This is a deer that's yeah. and its head is split in half yeah, and you can true. see it's inside of its brain. Like, I've never well, seen the inside of something's brain and before. Maybe that's so I don't why know she how reacts the way because yeah. she does immediately go to try and, you know, in her mind, he's trying to appease her with this. Like, here's the book of all the, you know, the survivalist book that I brought and here's what could possibly be what killed it yeah. you know so maybe that is her no character. her dwelling on it after that moment is insane but in the moment yeah, I understand I her I gross agree. out but in the moment but yeah. afterwards like it's like uh, when it feels like it's hours on. later like, like there's oh. bigger animals I, in this I feel thing. like I feel like in this case it's an intuition thing like she feels like she can feel that there's something not right yeah, yeah. like that's yeah, outside that's of the ordinary yeah. to find it because she's yeah. like what did this you know so yeah. she's immediately like, thinking there's a predator yeah like you have, you have to remember that they are completely isolated out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're when your intuition's kicking in, like that's a very frightening feeling. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it was like she was doing that from the beginning. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's she's been doing it the whole time, so this part doesn't feel like a change. I don't know. Right. I'm still trying to figure that well, it's just a person with anxiety. Yeah. yeah. That's in a yeah. situation yeah. she's uncomfortable with. And that's yeah. also going to end up being like a major plot yeah. point mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. on. Um, so when we see the split head thing, I guess to me, I read it as like, oh, that means the alien came out of it. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, that's how I read it. Mm-hmm. And came out, so, went in, some yeah, version of so that. So you're yes. like, okay, well, now we're talking about a movie about like an alien gets into you somehow. Right. And you're mm-hmm. like, well, the right. title is Significant Other. Right, there's going to be some play on like doubling or something going on here. Feels like, yes. The next morning she awakens and he has gone for a walk. And he's like, I'll be back. And you're like, oh shit, they never come back. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He did did my favorite movie trope of note on the log with the knife stabbed into it as a way of leaving a note. Because no one, you can't set a cast iron pan down on everything. No no one goes into the woods with tacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the knife has got to do. You gotta, if you want to draw attention to your note you left behind, you gotta stick a big, like six inch, like hunting knife into it. I mean, I'd I'd notice that. Right. The bigger the knife, the better. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how I'm gonna start leaving notes. Mm-hmm. But surprise! All right, honey, he, he does come back for the store. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Just in the yeah. I'm gonna have like a cork board, but for giant knives, like that's so I can idea. stick notes in in on the wall. Like I that. like it. Imagine everybody coming over to your house. Yeah. Had a lot of notes this week, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Fucking nice. You just need a, yeah, just make a wall that you can do that. I just and like, then you, I mean, this will lead to your, obviously, as you're going to become a feral person yeah, in the yes, near future. Yes, yes. Uh, you can learn, like, to throw yeah, knives throwing as knives, well. Yeah. Like, a uh, note. Yeah, exactly. Just, like, stick it to them. Like, you can even throw it at them. <laughs> but, like, I've been camping a number of times in my life, and I've never left a note like this. Like, what was it? Next if you time. Don't, if you don't do it when you're camping, Ooh, when do you do, do it? Do it with a hatchet, you know? too. Yeah, That'd be yeah, cool as well. Yeah. Really send them a, do that yeah, hatchet on a tree. Yeah. You get better at first writing and leaving notes. Yeah, and then yeah. the, 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 but you can't like the rip art, the note either. No, the art of leaving a note, yeah. I think, is what we need to work on. Yeah. But he does come back, this guy. He comes back like, you know, okay. You know, yeah. it's like uh, I went for a walk. I had to clear my head. And you're like, okay. Okay, and but then, she he runs into her while she's going to pee again for the second time this movie. She never pees. She gets interrupted trying to pee. I think this she, is a problem. I think this is uh, the rest of the movie is uh, 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 an effect of. Built up. She has a UTI that's yes. getting into I think her a brain. UTI got to her brain. <laughs> the HPV from the she has deer. toxic shock syndrome. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think well, this the is only all reason, yeah, out. but the only reason we mentioned this is because the movie <laughs> kind of calls attention to this. It like, does. She goes off to pee, and then he is like, "Hey, you know, it scares her." And then he's like, you done peeing? And she's like, yep. And we're like, no, she, no, she, she didn't know. actually pee. Yeah. They, were, they cut that out or yeah. something happened. Like, And then that happens at least twice yes. in the movie. Yes. Where we kind of gloss over the idea she that it no actually relief. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she finds the blue puddle. She goes in a cave. She does go in a cave. Because... Oh, I'm never going in a cave, live like unknown cave Again, in the wilderness. For someone who's got this anxiety, in yeah, her, she wanders around a lot, especially into caves. Like, what? Who like, would do that? If you're lucky, there's what just a snake in there. You know, yeah. if you're if, lucky, if nothing, it's a cave. A bear. Yeah, a bear. A bear. Yeah. yeah, I thought a bear. Yeah, but I don't care if I'm seeing blue algae or whatever. I've yeah. seen enough nature share. I'm just like, all right, something is blue. Yeah. I'm not going so to follow it. That's your limit because you always want to explore everything. The bo- you, 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 you have you, to see. Hey, it. Hey, I'm coming. 
out and be like, Sean, I saw this blue shit in a cave. We should no, run. If there's aliens, they're going to be out in the open. I like the openness. I'm fine. You with said that. you I would go wanna... in the barbarian basement. You, you said you. You but, said but you needed to see the camera, with, the bed, and the. That bucket. is housed within uh, what would be considered okay. a house, which is not you know. But you literally is, said in Fire in the Sky episode that you'd be the one to go check it out. It's in the open, like it's out in the thing. It's not inside of a cave. Uh, it's no, going no, so a basement is different than a cave. <laughs> but it's within a domicile, which feels safer than being out in the woods. You're in a house. You are automatically. You are like, doing some mental gymnastics house. here. Well, I think there's lines. A here. house that has a secret basement, basement dungeon. I said yeah. I wouldn't go forward <laughs> in it, though. Like, if I found the dungeon, I'd be gone. You said you needed to see the bed, the bucket, and the camera. You said you needed to see it. Again, there's certain places I would go, certain I won't. Yeah. I know where I would go. I know my limitations. <laughs> we're, but we're saying your threshold seems to vary greatly. It does, based on the <laughs> yes. situation. I I would say it very much does. All right, so blue algae cave. Sean's yeah. not going. No, I'm yeah. not going okay. in there. Okay. That's, that's a no go. Barbarian yeah. basement. Okay. That's cool. Like it's not green. Blue algae it's cave. not green predator no. blood. But I know but that like that's not. Good. I thought it was blood. I'm like, oh, it's that's bleeding. She, but then you're like, why is it bleeding? Like, what's happening? Right? You're right. trying to put it together, and she, of course, goes and sticks a, uh, a stick in the puddle. Like you do. And then you've seen the blob. That stuff rockets up that stick and grabs on it. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. No. But then she becomes aware that there's something else in the cave with her, we think. And yep. she turns around, and she screams, and we cut yeah. away. She doesn't scream. She caws like a bird. <laughs> a fucking crow. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Yeah. It was a good, was a good, was a good, good, good cut away. Yeah. 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 So then... He's like, you know, fuck, I'm at the campsite and uh, she's been gone for a long time. Where's she at? So he goes looking for her and he mm. finds her standing creepily yeah. in the woods with his her Having back. an existential crisis. Yes. Or, I like this because it ends up being the flip of what we think it is. Yeah. Well, so the movie is taking you to like, okay, so something happened to her in the cave. Yes. Is she going to acknowledge yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Yes. She doesn't. So that is what we're wondering. And we're like, oh, but shit. But she's clearly rattled. Like, yeah. she's oh, yeah. not herself. She's got like she a thousand yard like, stare. Yeah. 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 She's just stone faced, like dead behind the eyes. Which is yeah. unusual because they had kind of reconciled the day before. Like, they basically had been like, okay, you know, like. We can make this work. Yeah, which which yeah, I like, which we like still you love can't, each other. Right? That hasn't changed. Right. But right. We also know that there is an alien mm-hmm. in these woods. Mm-hmm. We know that it possibly can take things over, based on what we've seen with the deer. Yeah. So we come out of this thinking she's different. Mm-hmm. Well, because uh, well, I was well. There was yeah. Because I mean, there's scenes they camp at night. She stays awake. Creepy. Yep. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, when they're camping, she's sitting at the edge of the campsite looking, staring off into the distance. Yep. You know, and you're like, oh, kinda she's not disassociating. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, and he's like, yeah, I kind of knew that, you know, like, because uh, he's making jokes under his breath, to, you know, yeah. uh, about, you know, don't get excited. Hey, you won't. No, this yeah. is not <laughs> be too hard for you. And so we're like, okay, so she's been taken over by an alien or something. And like, what is her plan? What does she need to do? What's the motive? What's the alien need to do? And so the next thing, all of a sudden, she's like, you know what? I think I made a mistake. I think I should have said yes to your marriage proposal. Mm -hmm. But I don't want you to propose to me here. Let's go back up to the... Mm -hmm. The cliff, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oh man, she's gonna kill him up on the yeah. in the cliff." This is what these aliens do, and you're like, "Okay, so she needs to kill him because just, she just needs to be alone in the woods or something for her evil alien plan." See, the whole thing at this point, I'm still stuck in the whole cringe moment of making him because you're like, at, "This movie's doubling down on the cringe by making him go back." <laughs> also, because I mean, I'm with the movie at this point. I think something has happened to her. Mm-hmm. And so when we just and when we go back up there, I'm just because I think he's normal, um, as normal as this guy can be, yeah. considering who he is. But but yeah, because we do we double down the cringe like she's gonna make him do it again. Like who would be up for? I wouldn't want to go through this at all. Yeah, we're like we already the, watched the it. The embarrassment like, he had going through this the first time and yeah. all the feelings he had, I can't imagine he would want to go through this again. But. And this is how they're starting their marriage. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. But, <laughs> this yeah, is they've not been great. together for Turn. six years. So, but you know, I, I feel stop like, that you can't bring it up if I'm told to ignore it. But <laughs> I feel stop. like generally, in most cases, if you propose to someone and they say no, you break up. Yeah, like you don't yeah. just go back to being boyfriend and girlfriend. Like didn't happen, right? Because clearly, you're not on the same page as people. Right. So, yeah. 
and you want different things out of life. So I like, know, so that's, that's that, why you're proposing is like a big, exactly. uh, big, big leap there. Right. So we got to break up. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, fun fact on the cliff. Is it going to be fun? Yeah, just, on the cliff, all the actors, or both the actors, had to be um, tethered, tethered to the tree. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Actually, the looked, whole crew did. Had to yeah. be tethered. Yeah. yeah. Well, of you know, it could be wind. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty windy. And well, slippery. Would, pretty windy. Yeah. Windy or not, I'd be like, yeah, oh yeah, change yeah. me up. Yeah. I, want, <laughs> I want around the waist. Yes. I want at least something strapped to my torso. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting near this edge. Put sandbags on my feet. <laughs> I was Stop ironically it. thinking like, you don't want to get spooked if a bear comes charging out of the yeah. woods and accidentally go over yeah. the edge, but then you're tethered to a tree if a bear comes out of the woods. Take that chance. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the but edge. even like even if the rocks are a little slippery or something near yeah, the no, edge, that's all it takes. Always, it doesn't even have to you be anything make me extreme. Nervous? Have a character get to close to yep. an edge of a canyon and look over. I'm done. Dude, mm-hmm. did the Super Bowl halftime show give you a fucking panic attack? Because me, me, there was parts I was uh, like, "Ooh, I, I can't watch like this." Two seconds of it, but I saw where <laughs> Rihanna was yeah. and uh, Rihanna. Jeez. You could see it wobbling yeah, on the no, close-ups. I mean, like, yeah. Bravo to her. That would be like, yeah. Well, nope, nope. she pushes that fucking guy over the yeah. edge. She needs him in the balls and mm-hmm. over he goes. And he splats on the ground and we're like, oh shit. And then like the movie's got to be like halfway through. Like, where's this going to go? And so she runs. She runs through the woods. And I'm like, okay, if you're an alien. And uh, to be honest, there was, it passed through my mind that like this movie could be doing a thing where, because I know how movies work. He wandered <laughs> off and he could be an alien. <clears throat> but there's no evidence to support that, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but that would be an interesting thing. But it was just kind of like it was there, and then it went away. The movie kept me on like, mm-hmm. okay, what is she doing, and why is she mm-hmm. doing it? Mm-hmm. And she ends up collapsing. I think yeah. be- partially because of the panic attack. She has another panic attack. And that, she tries to take her medicine yeah. is it, at this mm-hmm. point, and she drops the pills all over the mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, no, now she's not going to have the meds. She collapses, and then immediately she's found by a couple of hikers. Mm-hmm. The nicest, under the ground. nicest strangers ever. These people yeah. go above and beyond really for nice. her. And man, what does Maybe it this is like the hiker code. You know, Maybe you're gonna be a hiker because you're off in, the yeah, it is. in this yeah. remote of an area, especially. Maybe. Yeah, but Maybe I mean, you make that peace with yourself before you go in, which explains why you would be so helpful to someone if you found them in the woods. Mm-hmm. But yeah. even the way she's talking to her around the campfire, and she's even like, "Okay, well, what are your hobbies?" Like she's being so patient, with very her. Yeah. patient mm-hmm. with her for some. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yep. They, yeah, because um, Micah Monroe's character is very um, not not very talkative, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, she's, she's saying, like catatonic at this point. Yeah. Right. yeah, Going back, she has seen a lot. Mm-hmm. See, but I didn't. I guess maybe that's what. And even I think her character is playing at that—that that she's catatonic. Mm-hmm. But it seems like she's thinking a lot about like what her next move is and where she's at. And I, well, I know actually, that she is, but. She, it's she also, to them that she's like yeah. catatonic. And she's right. just like, I don't remember what happened to me. I don't remember yeah. if I was up here with anything. And They're like, we got to call 911, but there's no service, of course, because you're in the mountains. Right. She also may not trust them. Well, yeah. Who knows yeah. at this point? Like, she knows. She has no idea. Like, maybe these people are, something's happened to them too. Well, I thought just going with where the movie has your head at that point, right? I'm like, oh shit, she's got to kill them, right? Because if she, she's this alien. And now she's got a she's killed the other guy. Yeah. And now these people are gonna like ruining her her plan. So she's got to kill them too. And she's eyeing the knife that the guy's cutting the the sausage with. And we're like, oh man, she's getting the knife so she can kill him. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, she picks that thing up. And then all of a sudden, out of the darkness. Jake hey, Lacey. Ruth, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part. I, I have good. paused it when that happened because I was laughing <laughs> so was fucking funny. hard. I was like... He's very cheery about it. His delivery is so good. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love Which is Jake why he's good. He's, he's so good funny. at playing both sides yeah. of the line. Yeah. yeah. This is very the nice. boyfriend. Plop. Yes. Plop boyfriend's comes back. Yeah. Plop Jake. comes and back. And he's yeah. deader than ever. Yeah. Yeah, but he's very much alive and like, Ruth, you got it. What's happening? And she's like... She starts panicking yeah. freaking out yeah and she's like that's him that's him and and she's got to run and then um i don't remember what his name is in this but uh jake uh kills the harry harry harry, mm-hmm. harry yeah. kills the camper yeah mm-hmm. with an alien um wolverine claw yeah like a single wolverine claw that comes out of his index finger it's, it's like the what a foot long it's the t1000 yeah, 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 yeah. 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 but we're that. like okay the well, alien he, has he finally chops, revealed right, itself he chops the guy's hand off and so yeah. we get we get to see the hand <laughs> plop plop yeah. when we do yeah. and reveal of that before we and we're like what and then yeah. we get the finger the yeah. knife mm-hmm. finger coming out of the sky yeah. and so we're just like oh 
All right. Full on. Here we go. He's something else. Yeah, mm-hmm. but he seems to act like Harry. I mean, it is basically Harry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, except Harry is now, we know he's supernatural or, you know, he's an alien yeah. somewhere. It's, it feels like it's Harry, but it's also got the alien from brain damage inside of him. And they're both <laughs> like, the, they're both. It's one. a Ratatouille situation. It's something like that. It feels like they're one. Yeah. And he chases. I know you want down. my juice, Brian. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, like, so wh- then the question becomes: Why is this alien singularly pursuing her? Mm-hmm. What does he want from her? But he's got to figure that out too. Well, mm-hmm. when he catches her, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, "Okay, goodbye, Ruth. I'm going to kill you." And I think it's like three times. He's like, yeah. "Okay, I'm going to get." And he's like, "Damn it! What's wrong with me? I got to." Okay, just do it. Mm-hmm. He has to psych himself up this to actually is, kill her. This scene. This scene was odd for me. It, it was. It, it, it's a trans. It's a transformative scene because I was annoyed by what he was doing, and then I think we flipped onto what the, the rest. tone shifts entirely. This, is, this yeah. is the moment the tone shifts. Is I this think. when you guys were? It was this the. It was the second I saw the finger blade. I was like, oh wow, okay, yeah. yeah it was, this this yeah. whole part is a is a switch. Yep, that's a, when I uh, the second I, they cut to him with that finger blade. I texted Hallie. I was like, okay, <laughs> this is like something we would see in like an eighties movie right. we would watch. Yeah, so it's something else. You really gotta f- you find yeah. your bearings during yeah. this point for the rest of the movie. It is not I a think. gentle shift. It is no, it is no. rocking you around. You're like, no, takes you like telling you this up. is where we're going. When for he the rest starts of this making movie. those jokes, I was cracking up when I was watching yeah. this. Me too. What the fuck is this movie? But it, I am on board. <laughs> right. It. I think it took me a little. Uh, it took me. I'm glad looking back on it now that it. It took me a while to get on board with it. Yeah. So it is a little. It felt to me a little annoying of his character. But once oh, I, I knew it. that's where we were going. Yeah. Like, I felt that way the first time I yeah, watched it. Too. Like, yeah. Uh, 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 I mean, it's funny. not like the movie is completely a comedy, but he's no. bringing a comic energy to yes. it. I guess that's yeah. he's this oh, super confident, you know, like I'm this alien scout from another planet and I've come down <laughs> yeah, here it is. and there's a bunch of me coming after this, you know. Yep. Yeah. So we're here to conquer this planet. He's like I'm yep. just a scout. Why the fuck am I telling you this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And yeah. it's almost and and the, it's hard because it's at this point he's in a movie and she's in a movie and they are two different movies that are <laughs> melding together at yeah. this point. But yeah. that's what I liked because her performance yeah. is still in the first yes. movie. Her performance and it's so good. It's yes. so good. And yeah. it's somehow even better up against his comedy. Yeah. Like that scene when she's crying yes. she's like, that what was... do you want from me? <laughs> right. that, that was, is... she was really selling it. And that, like, well, that's the peak of her being in that movie. Yeah. And we yeah, come down yeah. and being into the rest of the movie. Yeah. yeah. But it's a it's a weird twist at that no, point. But you it's know also, what it is. it's good. You know what the dynamic is? It's the same dynamic dynamic as Michael Caine playing it straight in a Muppet movie. Yeah, <laughs> same dynamic. It's gravitas, but yeah. you have fucking animal over here. Going, yes, Aah! yeah. That's why the fucking Muppet Carol is so great because it's that same dynamic. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, what do we know about this alien then? What do we what do we get from Harry? How, who is Harry? Where is Harry? Right. What happened in right. that cave? So, How does she know that Harry's an alien? Right. So at this point, you know, he's got the the T one thousand saber interface and he's like how did you know he's got t finger yeah he's got t finger in her face and he's like how did you know and she was like (laughs) it was in the cave i found where you stashed the body and they cut back to her finding harry's (gasps) body fuck i knew it was too close (laughs) i knew it was too close (laughs) and we find that she had found harry's body like cocooned and like split down the middle yeah Yeah. so the interesting dynamic that happens here though right is that he it has replicated like the thing, right? He's yeah. replicated Harry completely, his emotions it's, 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 and it's everything, like he's memories. Him and absorbed him. Yeah, as yeah. we learn a little bit later. So he's Harry he as an alien, yeah. and then but he says he is Harry. He is he's Harry? Like, he's like, I am an exact biological replication. I have his feelings, his thoughts, his memories. I am Harry. Mm-hmm. So he can't yeah. kill her. Because he's in love with her. Yeah. And then he's this, like, wait, am he's I reason, yeah, he's in love with you? He's, yeah. like, he's yeah. like, I love your hands. I love your <laughs> that, smile. Yeah. Like this whole when scene he's trying to figure it out. It's like, I love your hands. Yeah. Which, is, <laughs> yeah. which I understand what he's saying. And then he has just, this like, like, coming around. And then he like, has oh, this realization. He has this realization. He's like, fuck, Ruth, I love you. And he turns around. She's running. He's like, wait, no. <laughs> well, and it's so funny. The thing about this reveal, too, is it puts the whole first half of the movie in a new context, right? Because you're like, she's acting so weird. It must be her. But really, it's she's acting weird because she knows he's the alien, right? And he's trying to be as normal as possible and blend in. But 
Ugh. That means during the second proposal, when he's when they kiss and he was like, "That's the greatest thing I've ever felt in my whole life." He was feeling horniness for the first time. Oh, uh, okay. Well, pretty everyone's gross. Gonna, pretty everyone's gross. Gonna feel it for the first time at some <laughs> yeah, point. I love so. it. Yeah, I love yeah. it. He just happened to yeah. be an alien yeah. feeling it for the first time. Because that's what he's saying. I mean, because then the movie is kind of becoming like this. I mean, it's a, it's interesting. You know, it's talking about love, basically, right? Yeah, a lot. The yeah, yeah that uh, he, you know, like, well, he's saying the humans are the only species. That he's replicated all these uh, mm-hmm. beings. Yeah. This is the only one. His that talk feels to the rest it. of it makes me feel good about being a human being. I know, but that's what the, I remember that from 80s alien movies. Yeah. They, they always get made you feel good about being human. You're right. the only like, species that we does love, this. Yeah. We are obviously, as we'll get into later, but we are tougher than aliens. We are able to handle more emotionally, apparently. Yeah. In Star Trek and Deep Space Nine, we were the only ones that formed the United Nations of Aliens in space because yeah. we're the only ones that thought of it. We really, we should all come together. We really talk. think a lot of ourselves, don't we? Yeah. Um, so. He's like, well, the best way to impress her is to show her my spaceship, which is parked <laughs> yes, on the beach. Yes, yes. Classic dude, she'll love my I know car. Small here. She'll, she'll love it's my car. Yeah. It's a sweet yeah. ride, isn't yeah. it? Sweet ride. Yeah. <laughs> And this part, I was like, oh, we're really going. Like, the, un- are, yeah. the unveil of the spaceship, I was like, wow, we're still going to keep going with yeah, this. Yeah, it almost feels yeah. like, yeah. oh, it's like a rival, but we're just popping jokes every yeah. every five but seconds. But I was like, here. is this going to leave the planet? I was like, are we going to go into yeah, space yeah, in this yeah. movie? You I'll know? give it that. Didn't know where yeah, this movie yeah. was going. I know, because I was beach like, with a <laughs> ship and shit. Yeah. I was actually wondering if, like, this movie was going to go to a place where she goes back to civilization with him because he's a better version of Harry, you mm. know, like, right. or something like that. It's yeah. like, that was a possibility that the mm-hmm. movie could go that way. Oh, yeah. It doesn't. She's trying to kill him because he's an alien <laughs> yeah. and has killed her boyfriend, you know? Yeah. It's like, okay, like, as you do. Um,. <laughs> But the thing that, so she like comes up with this plan, which again is foreshadowing payoff it works. She sees that there's sharks swimming around out in the ocean. I love this. So she <laughs> stabs mention, him. There's a mention of sharks as well throughout. Throughout the, yeah. yeah. So she yeah. stabs him and then she goes out in the ocean and we're like, well, we plan. know he heals himself. So what? But he's bleeding. And so the sharks sense the blood in the water and attack him and tear him apart. And it's genius. awesome. Yeah. Genius. I unexpected. Yeah. I love it. If not genius, unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. All right. So, you know, it seems it's a far fetched scene, but it works because they set it up. Yeah. Yep. I think yeah, that's yeah. a lot of what I felt in this, uh, as watching this movie. It was like, okay, this is crazy, but you did lay in the groundwork. So yeah. it's not coming out of fucking left field. Right. It was like you expect it to be there. Um, she returns to the shore. She does, and she's like, "Okay, I gotta, I gotta get away from this guy, mm-hmm. and I have uh, the other people's backpacks." And I like. There's another funny scene where the summer sausage. She, yeah, she's hungry, so she's gonna eat the summer sausage. She, you know, notices that the other hiker's hand is laying in mm-hmm. the ground. It's like, oh, that's gross. But she's so hungry, and she doesn't yeah. care anymore. That's her, you know, and it's she's like, seen a lot at this point. She was like, freaked out by the deer, but now she's like. I'm just munching yeah. on my summer sausage because, <laughs> you know, I got to feed myself. Well, now I have to escape this alien in the woods. But we do see that the alien is still alive and it apparently ate that shark. <laughs> what? It ripped it. Oh, it ripped it. Because <laughs> there is there's just a shot of you're on the shore. Uh, uh, half the bottom leg of a person walks into frame, and then a half a shark head ho- drops. But to the, the leg beach. starts healing itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's just, the, it's the just fun head. to see, you know, the half shark head. Because yep. again, in a movie where that was not going to happen in my mind, <laughs> dude, Russell, the half a shark head off and just dropped it, and and is now going to pursue Mike and Monroe back into the uh, woods. And I, it's ah, not it's, expected. It's cool because this movie clearly didn't have the budget to show us like him fighting a shark, right? Oh, no. So, this but this anyway. is a good way yeah. of no, like telling better. that story, yeah. you know? Oh no, don't fight that shark. That's that's No, that's no I want to see this. This is better. <laughs> just, yeah, it was just better to see it. It would look yeah. ridiculous we if got, you actually saw it. All we got was like the shots of the water, the the red water. Yep. And I was yeah, like yeah. this is perfect. That's like, all I need. Yeah. Yeah. All we need. Yeah. Restraint, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Restraint possibly because of budget, but yeah. you know, still that kind of I think but they I, knew like, what they were doing too. Right. Yeah. Also like that's I'm okay with that. If a budget makes you less of a budget makes you figure shit out and make it more interesting. Yeah. Although we do see a scene of the shark like under the water. Yeah, there is some CG yeah, shark. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But, but I, I, it was okay. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it went by really fast, mm-hmm. and yeah. just yep. it was like okay. Yeah, we don't linger on it, and it's it, it works. all works. Yeah. She makes it back to I can't remember. She gets back to the original campsite. Yep. Right. 
And then we see the sneaky venom tentacle is sneaking up behind her. We're like, oh, shit, the thing is here. And it plugs into the back of her head. And we're like, oh, no, mm-hmm. this is bad. Yeah. yeah, usually when that happens in mm-hmm. most movies, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather yeah. not be tentacled by an alien. And there is a brief scene before she blacks out, I think, where he's like, why do you keep running for me? I'm trying to save you, right? Because mm-hmm. that's his yeah. thing. He's like, yeah. I love you. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. The others that are coming are going to blend in and they're going to take over this entire planet yeah. and make it something like, awful. But we not- can take my yeah. awesome rocket ship and go somewhere <laughs> like, else. I want to take us. you out of yep. here and give you a great life. Yep. It's not a bad right. plan. But wouldn't they also, okay, a couple questions. Wouldn't the other aliens also find love at some point and then not? Once they become destroy? human? Yeah, right. once they, yeah. Wouldn't they also figure that out, like, at a certain point? You think? Yeah. And also, The scout's like, supposed to warn them, I suppose, if this is what sure, but it's once like he's to been, be. Sure, but once he's been turned, like, mm-hmm. he's going to be like, no, she's mine. It's like when you, you uh, um, shit, when in movies where, like, uh, why am I thinking of Dune, where he's got his concubine, where he shouldn't, like, not necessarily... The, they're not married in that, are they? No. Like they and they can't be and all that. Right. Like he would have her as just like I know I'm not supposed to. This is uh, not recognized by anybody, but you are. You will be mine. Yeah. Well, it's kind of the I took it as like once you're outside of the Borg, right, and <laughs> yeah. you become like a little bit human, and you understand right. like this is what. Then you're no longer part of the hive, yeah. the collective. You become an individual. Yes. Also, a thing about being human. Um, so he takes her back to the cave. So I thought this was interesting, too, because it is like following the theme of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got her, pl- you know, cocooned and he's plugged, plugged into in. her yeah. with the uh, whatever. <laughs> his alien hand tentacle. Veni- yes, yeah, the tentacle. He's sucking the life out of her. But his thing and is he has like little shark bites out of his shirt. You know? Yeah, I love it. I yeah, love the costume. But he's healed detail. underneath. It. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just the costume. it's just like yeah, the chomps out of the fabric. Or I <laughs> yeah. love it. Yeah. And this is a kind of a creepy looking CGI scene because what's happening is he's basically like, I love you. You keep on running from me. And I figured out like what humans love people so much that they want to be a part of them, but you just can't. But I actually can Mm -hmm. be you. You know, we can be one. Well, it's not it. I can just become you, right? I can mm-hmm. have my memories and then, or Harry's memories, and then also have you as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he starts to transform as mm-hmm. we watch him slowly into Micah Monroe, which mm-hmm. was the sad good. eyes are first, which was like, oh. yeah. I, I, you know, Sean, I never really pointed noticed it until you pointed out that she has kind of like sad anime eyes, like she, and, and they're, they're very, very they're dark. Yeah, as yeah. Well. So it's uh, just that darkness, and but. It's she's got a it's a specific look, specific shape. But mm-hmm. when it starts transferring over, you're just like, wow. Yeah, when it was like, just it, like her eyes on yes. his face, it was weird. Yeah, it was a weird thing. Mm-hmm. I I had to say it out loud. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is what's happening, right? Yeah, because like, yeah. yeah. otherwise, because it's it's it starts off subtle, yeah, and then it yeah. like progresses and whatever until it's like those deep fake videos when yeah. you know, like that yeah. Tom Cruise, uh, Bill Hader one or whatever. That yeah, funny you mentioned Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise would also have been a good uh, what's his uh, good for the part a y- really younger Tom Cruise. Does it start off at Tom Cruise and then eventually you end up with Jake Lacey like when they're making the offer because it's paramount right and they're like i think there is a relation Tom there Cruise he's, movie. he's got that i mean they throw budget Cruise at it they do rewrites you know like whatever i can't right. picture tom cruise no, being in a movie they, like this i really can't they wanted jake lacy for this oh uh, mm-hmm. okay i was yeah. gonna say like oblivion started out probably small no the casting the director was like i know a guy for this okay. and yeah. they were all like i just think, I think yeah. they have the same type of charisma yeah i think but okay um so he's suck sucking her <laughs> dry yep, let's just with his tentacle dead. yep until he becomes her yep. yes okay but he also he gets every part of her yeah but including i guess but that's like well his thing is like now that i'm you i'm gonna be the best actualized version of you right yeah. like i can be the you that you couldn't be mm-hmm. you know but she's like, that's not how anxiety works, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. This makes me feel better about depression, knowing that not even aliens can get away with I it. I love that. Get away she, from it. She weaponizes anxiety to defeat she this does. alien. I, I love, love it. this. But this is also part of the thing that makes me feel better about being a human being. It's just like, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like uh, when uh, War of the Worlds, when they come down and they can't handle our diseases, yeah. they yeah. automatically die. Yeah. It's the same thing, except with mm-hmm. you know anxiety and depression. <laughs> but, the- but, but it also makes us, I mean, uh, it just makes me feel tougher as a human being just like we can 
can survive this and you can't. Mm -hmm. We're built for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to fucking Earth. Right? <laughs> yeah. So she's basically like doing really horrible self talk to herself. She's doing really horrible inner monologue. She's, like, yeah, right. she's literally depression she's thoughts. She's literally yeah. voicing the thoughts in her own head. Yeah. Like, and the one that really hurts yeah, is her what, own demons. The one right. that really hurts is what, what is even the point of you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When she said that, I was like, oh my God, stop. Like, stop the right, but, but, intrusive but, but, war. But she's getting over it, right? She's See, like, I think I that's like what's happening. Through it. That's I think it's how I read it because that's the only way that you can read like a character arc for her is that okay by the end of this she's going to be healed in some way yeah. from this trauma that or trauma of you know her parents and because you're hearing I think her parents voice telling her like you what's the point of you even being here you're nothing but shit. oh yeah I mean she's basically killing the alien by telling it it's a piece of shit she's she's <laughs> she's it part twoing it yeah basically yeah. no she's, those. Those aren't her parents' messages. Those are her own. Those thoughts. are like it's her in her thoughts. monologue yeah. of yeah. That's yeah, that's, that's exactly the moment she negative self talk. Yeah, the moment she's right. like, which one are you going to be? Your mom or your dad? Yeah, but I think she's yeah. saying it to get rid. I think she's getting rid of it. I think she's exercising those demons in this. Situation. No, I think I think there's like a therapeutic element to it for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's probably what's intended by the the movie at that point because the alien, of course, still has. The heart problem. She has a heart problem, I think, on top of anxiety. Am I wrong? I mean, just no, I think that's, that's just anxiety. Just anxiety. Which, which so she's can crippling feel like it. It feels like a heart attack. Okay, yeah. so she's crippling it so she can attack it. It's yeah. basically yeah, it's like, what's like, going on? Oh, yes. Colin doesn't have anxiety. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you never had a panic attack before. Yeah. No, I never really have. It's uh, well, well, now yeah, we just, right. just all sweet. point a and go, yeah. and then he will yeah. eventually get it yeah. take over him. Yeah. But the... Um, Chest pains are regular. <laughs> yep. And, and Definitely have gone to the emergency room before convinced I was having a heart attack yep. to be told I was having a panic attack. Yep. Been there. <laughs> well, then, yeah. as someone who hasn't experienced it, then I guess in the context of the movie, like, would it go away on its own? Hell so this no, is a, I wish. In what way in the movie? Well, because <laughs> is this like, because I mean, I guess that's how I read it, was that she is trying to temporarily disable it so she can get the upper hand on it and kill it. Yeah. Because yeah. right? she's also who made knows sure that thing better than her. Yeah. Yeah. her. On accident, right? But she mm -hmm. knows that like there's no pills left. You yeah. know, I took the yeah. last pill. There's nothing you can't do anything like, about it. Eventually it'll get less and less, but it's, it's it doesn't manageable. just like stop. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No. But that's the thing about this. This is an alien experience for the first these time, feelings yeah. for the first time. Yeah. And that's got to be fucking crippling to yeah. that alien who hasn't oh, felt these things. When before. you have a panic attack and you don't know what it is, that's why you end up at the ER right. because you don't know. Well, yeah. yeah. And this is the yeah. thing, considering what humans go through in this, yeah. and give it to uh, a, a being who has never, ex if they haven't experienced love, and he's going, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's what horniness. Sets up, <laughs> right, well, I think that's what sets up this. His reaction to this is like, I haven't experienced love. I, I, yeah. I, I just found out I love your hands. Like this is. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, feeling the anxiety, it's just like drop to his knees and done. Yeah. Like this alien has no idea. You yeah. have no context is. for it. No, so, yeah, yeah. none whatsoever. Yeah. This is a pain that this alien has never felt before. Right. And she's like, oh, uh, it, it feels like she's taking pity maybe like, you know, because she's looking at herself, like yeah. going through mm -hmm. all this stuff. I'm like, it's better if you lie down. You know, it's like, don't worry. And then she passes the shit out of it with a rock. Yeah. Yep, and bashes his head in. Which, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, Okay. And you guys are probably like, credits, movie's over, well, right? Well, I was, no, <laughs> there, because. That was an option at that yeah. point. It was an option, but I was like, this movie hasn't really s resolved itself. It didn't feel like, I guess if you're looking at it like her, she's completed a character arc, right? Mm -hmm. That she is somehow, there's some healing happening from having this therapeutic moment. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, then maybe her arc is done and then maybe the movie's over. But we know that the thing can heal itself. And sure enough, as she walks out, you look at the smashed face mm -hmm. and it starts rebuilding itself. So yeah. you're like, okay, so there's more left to this movie. She gets in a car and begins to drive away. She finds her way back to the car. She's driving away. I was thinking like, oh man, you know, what if we didn't see the scene where this is actually the doppelganger getting in the car and driving mm -hmm. off to, uh. to society? Crossed my mind, but that's not where we are. Mm -hmm. It's her. And as she's driving away, what happens? The voice comes over the radio, and it's her own voice, mm -hmm. obviously. She says, mm -hmm. you think you could get rid of me that quickly or that easily? Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And I don't know how this is happening, but you're like, okay, aliens, right? Yeah. That's how yeah. it works. Right. We've gone yeah. through a lot at this yeah. point. 
Yeah. Yep, the oh, alien is going to keep it. tracking yeah. her down. Although now I guess the alien really doesn't need to because it has been her, which was its goal to become her, and it has. Mm-hmm. Right? And so she's getting mean, away, and she drives uh, down the road. Past that tree again. Yeah. And we see it's the same shot at the beginning where we saw the one uh, falling red star. Mm-hmm. Only this now time. Many dozens. red stars. <laughs> And so, oh, alien invasion. Shit, the <laughs> alien invasion has started. And so, I really was kind of thinking, like, well, you know, I was like, is she going to be on like a suicide kick at this point? Because she looks all like, you know, really ragged and she's driving and the thing keeps talking to her on the radio and she mm-hmm. turns it off, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, to, to shut the voice up. And then it's like, but if you know this, right? That the, 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 because I was like, well, what's, where's this going to go? Mm-hmm. She goes to just live a normal life knowing that like the world's going to end. You try to tell people, they all think you're crazy. Uh, see, this mm-hmm. sequel. This is where yeah. I think like, I, there's a lot of interesting ideas for a sequel. Yep. Yeah, and you're missing the entire point. She's just there to survive. Mm-hmm. But what's the point what? of surviving? No, that's if, what I'm saying. Like, it, when you're in that moment, you're just trying to survive. You're not thinking about, like, oh, what's the point? There's an alien invasion. No, you're like, how oh, can no, I get I out of I, this I, alive? I, no, I don't think alien invasion is on her mind. No, at it's all. not. No, it's I'm not. Just, that's for the about viewer. What, what yeah. happens later on. No, I'm not, I think she will eventually get there. No, I get But right now, yes, you're right. I get that. I'm just saying, like, what he was saying, like, you know, what's her thought process? Oh, no. She doesn't Sur- have one other than survival. I got away. Yeah. Yes. Fight or flight. Yeah, that That's is it. it at that That's point. It. Any other thoughts that we're having, like you said, yeah. is right. But once the audience thought, but once the voice comes on the radio and she like saying we're going to come after you again, what what's her thought after that? Though yeah, I think is what Colin's it's saying. Like, like game's over. Like, right? like I can't no outrun can, this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then it, I guess maybe that's why it kind of felt like the end of the movie was abrupt or. I mean, I get where they ended because it's like, ooh, look, the aliens are coming and humanity's fucked. And that's, you know, mm-hmm. and I guess, yeah, it has finished her arc. Yeah. But it's like, OK, so she she's healed. But so what? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think she's healed. Yeah, well, no, right. the, OK, yeah, the process is starting, maybe. Yeah. Right. It's like there's a little bit of closure for well, her in it's, some it's, in some way. Yes, there's closure. The process has started, but she's also then got yeah, then tons more shit no, to deal with yeah. going yeah. forward. Well, it's I'm like, just like, how is she going to explain any of this, right? This how does why, she not go to prison? This is why I like it, sequels. Yeah. yeah. Well, if the alien invasion's happening, it won't matter. It yeah, won't it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah. matters. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and, well, and I think matter. that's it. If it is that big, as we see at the end of the movie, yeah. with many red stars coming down, if it's at a certain point, if it's so big, there's no point because you can't. Right, right. You, know, it's, you can't yeah. overcome it. It's right. just yeah. going to happen. I guess I, if, if I were editing this movie, I would have had that close up of the head reforming and then cut and been done. Because you get see, the same message. The message I is the same. I thought we would get a little reforming and then ksh, yeah. cut, cut yeah. out of it. Yeah, because you could do that. Because yeah. the only difference, like I feel like it adds a lot of extra time to say a not not a lot yeah. more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like because it I feels think, like it's padding f- to hit a runtime. And this movie yeah. is under 90 minutes, yeah. so yep. maybe think, that is what I it is. I think it feels like it's over because I think you feel like, okay, yeah. she's resolved something. And then it's like, well, why do we keep going? Because, I mean, let's say she killed the thing completely mm-hmm. grenade and the thing blows yeah. up all sure. over. There's no way it can be put back together. There's still the knowledge of the impending alien apocalypse. Yeah. You know, it's like, so you're still ending in the movie in the same place. Right. Sure, basically, yes. But true. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how. I, I do think they had to stretch it a little bit for time. Out, but yeah, maybe. Or they mm-hmm. just wanted that. Maybe that ending was more satisfactory. I was, I was okay with it. I like the impending end of the world. Oh no, shot. I like it too. Yeah. I don't. I, I think I like to it. answer any more questions, you'd have to go into a completely different storyline, movies, what have mm-hmm. you, to venture on from this point, mm-hmm. which we can't do. We have to yeah. end at some point mm-hmm. and leave you with something of what's to come. All right. Well, I'll tell you what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tell you whether or not we would recommend that you watch this movie. But first, we're going to leave you in suspense. We're going to summon our mailman to read Let's some of your mail. And his name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you think he has like the T-1000 finger blades? No, but he does have tentacles. 
Definitely. Oh, they come out of his back. Just tentacles. tentacles, yeah. yeah. At least four yeah. of them. I don't think yeah. he can control them very well. No. Wonderful. No. Have you not been? <laughs> I've been slapped. I by try and stay Igor tentacle every now and again. <laughs> I try and, and stay just, out of slapping uh, range. As he's coming uh, up, uh, bring the mail. I just uh, 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 ah. Yeah, oh, they okay. they have no purpose. No, they're just they're there. Like, uh, yeah. Um. Oh man. All right. Never mind. I'm thinking of something. <laughs> Ratsuduki Doji. He's got okay. You're a sucker doji? The, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the legend of the overfee. Yeah, legend Tentacles. of the overfee. No, what's... Oh, no. No, uh, speaking of Independence Day, like when... Um, in the first Independence Day, when like when the aliens come up and they have the... Yeah. The tentacles <laughs> coming out of the back, I feel like that's how Igor works sometimes. <laughs> and then... You end up getting slapped in the back of the head sometimes. It's that probably, is how they work, yeah. It, it, well, yeah, uh, I, I think tentacles. it's... Uh, you do a lot of slapping. He, he doesn't uh, mean to. It's... Uh, <laughs> Just, just knocking shit around. As yeah, I think so. No control. Yeah. Um, well, we should let the good folks at home know how you can contact us directly and participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, significant other, Pat Hetfield, writes in and says. And says all of it. Well, he says, you want a question or comment about this movie? Fine. How about, what is this movie? I've never heard of it. Well, it'll be good to see Mike or Monroe again. I like discovering things as long as it's a freak show type of movie and not just a conventional drama. I'm here for it. Not that I have anything against conventional dramas. I like different film genres. It's just that is not what I listened to the freak show for. So we gave people the impression that this was a conventional drama. Did we? I well, we didn't say. Very I mean, much I th- I think if you just hear the title, I can see why you would think that. Yeah. It's like into the wild it. Yeah. with yeah. Well, that's what the imagery looks like or whatever. Sure. Backcountry. It is a freak show movie. Rest assured. There you go. Yeah, it's, and I. It's not what just saying, a drama because I, I don't think any of this was in the uh, advertising for the movie. Not from what I saw. I saw it like maybe a trailer for it, so I don't know how far it went, mm-hmm. but. No, this is. No, well, I'm going to check that out after yeah. the fact. Richard Kratzer writes in and says, I watched this on a lazy Sunday afternoon. I enjoyed the actors' performances, although Micah Monroe seems to play the same roles in the movies I've seen her in. Her one note characterization actually works here with the dual nature of her role in this movie and the red herring, which we're privy to later. And the premise is cool. The thing meets invasion of the body snatchers. I love grim endings that leaves a feeling of impending doom. And I'm very interesting in hearing how you guys and gals review it. Wow. I'm glad someone else had actually seen this movie. Yeah, like, that is yeah, nice. you know, like I, I feel like this movie didn't get any advertising at all. Really. I never heard of it yeah. before I, I, you guys talked about it. I hadn't either. I and I, I just I just want to put this out there that when we do pick these movies, we haven't always all seen them uh, when we're bringing them to the freak show. So if they're yeah. super new. You're yeah, saying, they're super yeah, new, especially super new. this. And I know this doesn't happen often, but if you're going to comment on these things, please well, yeah, but the, the try and leave some reading it now out of it. is this is the time. I, to, uh, no, I understand. You but just if you're sending messages to us before we've seen the movie. No, it's just it's a good thing that I saw a couple of these comments ahead of time and told you guys not yeah, to read them. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, well, Michael Whitaker says, given that the Eagles are in the Super Bowl this year, I might not have time to check this out just yet. Oh, we know how that went. But yeah, reading yeah. the description, it was hiking aliens, meteors, there and relationship is. issues. Might be interesting. I'm looking forward to your review. And Novato Judoka says, I enjoyed this because I'll take any movie that throws me a curveball mm, and what yes. to expect and a bonus, a movie under 90 minutes. Finally, a movie I didn't have to multitask Yay. while Woo. watching. Actually, you're right. It should, is... it should get a special award for yeah, its runtime. It's a two-hour movie. Yeah, it should. <laughs> Congrat- <laughs> this is the shortest I, movie I've seen in probably like long, three months or something like that. Long right? Outstanding achievement in Watch one time. Watch in the same length. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Maybe. It okay. wasn't. Yeah. I didn't feel like it was too much That's longer. right. That one was a nice, efficient movie. Yes. yes. Uh, Peter Gatt says, this wasn't very good, and you can still change your minds and pick something else. Uh, too late. Listener request month will be next <laughs> too year. Late. You have so, months yep. until... So, and make your you list of what you want. Make your own choices. Uh, last week, we watched a movie that was called Doc. Dear Giggles. Ah, sure did. did. Not dent- not Giggles DDS. No, well, <laughs> not a dentist, which somebody Giggles MD. Yeah. Ironically, uh, yes. Mike Whitaker says, and here I thought he was a dentist the yeah. whole time. And I yeah. mentioned to Mike Whitaker, I'm just like, you know what? So did I. Something I, about that poster reads dentist. Screams dentist. Yeah. I always thought maybe it's because I uh, I have dental trauma on the brain. I don't know. Maybe that's Most my, people do. Maybe that's my the, fear. No, the dentists usually have like the cap. Or Surgeons do too, though. Yeah, I guess. It always felt like a dentist for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, Steve Coates says, has uh, Dr. Giggles 
I, or, or he has on his, uh, he says that he has Dr. Giggles as the profile picture for his actual dentist on his phone. <laughs> I love that. Oh, should. my God. That's awesome. Uh, Stephen Helicopter says <laughs> that Helicopter. Uh, 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 we posted uh, an image of the Dr. Giggles comic book. We dug oh, yeah, it up, the dark house, uh-huh. and he says it looks like fucking Count Chocula with a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of does the hair. It's the, the, the yeah, widow's peak yeah. hair. And the shape yeah. of the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks Steven like... Stephen Helicopter uh, always always yeah. coming in. You know, Sean, mailbag. actually, I found something that's probably going to... Uh, by now, the time that they're listening to this, the listeners have seen this on our social medias, but I didn't know that Dr. Giggles, the original script, right? The guy who wrote it hates the movie because they changed it so much. So he went and made the actual script as a completely different movie. And it's called gone? like... Neighborhood Watch or something like that. I well, can't now we gotta watch oh, it. Well, yeah. Jesus, now but I just must Google know that. It's okay. like Doctor Giggles was, and I watched the trailer, okay. and it looks cheap and it looks bad. But apparently, it is the original story. Sound, all right. all, all reasons we should be watching it. Interested. Like. Uh, Joey Bly says at least he was kind enough to push the air bubbles out of that syringe before he stabbed <laughs> that girl with it. I watched this yeah. around 12 years old and I think I liked it then? Question mark? You Tons did. of you bad did. Freddy Krueger-ish jokes. Mm, one Subpar yes. Freddy Krueger, yes. Uh, B. Shaw Foolery says it's a spectacularly <laughs> short movie. Larry Drake could have made this a series even better than his dark man villain. Not even Dougie Doug's high school acting could have ruined this movie. <laughs> Dr. Giggles was a cult movie in my hometown. They'd play it every Saturday for three bucks because the cinema manager had some family connection to Larry Drake. Interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So that is a lot jokes of Dr. for Freddy, perfect for Larry Drake and Dr. Giggles. Yeah. Uh, Brian Scott says, hey, Sean, when hey, you were telling the yeah. story of folding laundry following the scene of mom's <laughs> Laundry, you started by uh-huh. slowly asking if everyone, anyone ever did their mom's laundry. And I swear, I thought you were going to ask, Colin, did you ever wear your mom's underwear? Um, No, me neither. Did uh-huh. you, Colin, ever wear your mom's underwear? No, okay. but that's not how this, but you're supposed to say, you're no, supposed you're supposed to, to answer, Colin. no, me neither. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. <laughs> I like it. Colin. Colin's telling me, no, no, Sean, moment. you missed the joke. <laughs> this is how you do it. That's right, because Colin knows comedy. Colin does know yeah. comedy. Uh, no, I told him, like, thank God my trauma doesn't go that far, which I'm v- very happy about. No, I, 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 I uh, uh, expressed a uh, vulnerable moment and was judged very harshly for it last week, so uh, we won't be talking about that anymore. Continue on. Uh, the week before that, we watched a movie called Torso. <laughs> Torso. And, um... Oh, crap. I cut off who actually said this, so I apologize, <laughs> but uh, they were talking about Italian movies of the 70s that they had some of the most beautiful... Oh, that was us. We said <laughs> yeah. that they had some of the most beautiful women and exotic yes. European locations and clad in the most eye-popping fashions of the 1970s. Pat Hetfield said, that's what I love about Italian cinema. Mm-hmm. Aaron Don Gilmer says, you guys convinced me I need to see this now. <laughs> uh, Mark yeah. Harrison says, according to Google, Susie Kendall was 36 when the film was released. She doesn't look it, and she want, he wants to know if the dolls in Torso or the mannequins in Spasmo, which are better. And I don't I, think yeah, I've seen Spasmo. I have not seen know. Spasmo. But now I'm intrigued. Now yeah. I need to know more about this it's movie. Interesting I'm game. aware of it, but I haven't seen it, Mark, and Spasmo. none of us have. So maybe it'll go on well, the list. Well, now, yeah, with the title like that, and you said there's mannequins <laughs> in it, I'm interested. Yeah. So on that episode, and I like that this is still continuing now three weeks on, we were trying to come up with our own uh, giallo. And uh, we, do we have suggestions? We're trying to work out a title. Mm-hmm. And uh, Joey Blythe is suggesting Death Walks on Saturday Night. I like which it. Which is a play on Death uh, Walks on High Heels and, you know. I like, I like. Okay. Death, death if, Walks at Midnight. I, I like, we're, we're getting there. We're, death I Walks like on these Saturday ideas. Night. It's like the we're third one. We're building the... towards it. Like, we're almost there. Uh, Novato Judoka says, the red caterwaulings over the radio, saying, I just want to keep wow. Sean's theme of cat violence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, also, I'm on the side that didn't vote for Halloween Ends, as I only try to bring good movies <laughs> to the show. Thank you, See, thank you. I, I'm not trying to... But to, um, to, 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 to <laughs> proliferate this cat violence image other people are this is not me <laughs> you but created this the, monster oh, okay. yes, yeah. you know, we only yeah. focus on it when i bring it 
Because of you, you have the highest well. number of cats. I would, I, if I didn't. But and yours are the worst even, ones, but too. If MF Mad was not already uh, uh, overcome with trying to keep track of everything else, I would want to know cat death totals per person. But yours have been some of the like most graphic ones as well. Like well, that sure. one in Bug was really bad. We definitely saw a cat really get murdered on screen in that movie. That was the problem. Like, I, saw, I mean, there's been a lot of cat matter. Yeah, we've all brought it. But up. when it's mm-hmm. when it's that graphic, we're, we're it's a uh, none of different. us are innocent. We all have blood mm-hmm. in our hands. Continue. That's true. Bill Hainer <laughs> says, "How about the radio is switched off just before Sean Colin <laughs> Gastaldi's revenge." I like Gastaldi's revenge. That's a good part of it. Gastaldi's revenge. Oh my god. That no, that is all right. Gastaldi's revenge is like the U.S. title of it. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But we have a different town. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Right. The radio yes. switched Gestalt. off yes, just right. before yeah. Sean. There we go. Yes. Yeah, how's your feud Absolutely. going with Gestalt? I have yeah. not. Uh, out to him. I yeah. have not heard from him. No, okay. I, no, I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen anybody out of the corner of my eye following okay. me or anything okay. like that. So I don't okay. feel like the hit is on and, and quite we, yet. As far as we know, he's still alive. He's still, yeah. alive. still alive. And remind me, what was the thing you had against Ernesto? <laughs> I thought he was yeah. dead. That's it. <laughs> no, oh. but before that, you said something about his writing. Yeah. And I Colin so. was like, it's Ernesto Gastaldi. He's written all these, dude. Oh, I, and there was yeah. a whole. Well, that's very true. And then I was like, you're going to start a Larry Black feud. And you yeah. said, no, he's right. dead. No, but the difference and is. And you that literally said, he's definitely. You said dead. that man's Our, definitely. The difference dead. between uh, Ernesto Gastaldi and uh, Larry, Larry Block Larry is Black. that I respect Gastaldi's work. Mm-hmm. I just thought he was dead. Larry Bach is the <laughs> okay. author of the, the fun house. I'm pretty sure on that episode I you were criticizing his writing. And don't respect. Oh, dang! Work. Hey, he's wow. sorry, Larry yeah. Block. Wow. Um, Ernesto, we love you. Yeah. Ernesto, Ernesto, I respect you. you. I understand that <laughs> I need to be killed, <laughs> but I also respect you and what you've done. Sean needs to be killed. I on just the thought radio. you were dead. Okay. That's their Argello. You got to go back and listen to that episode. Okay, so we'll write this because it's a good one. Well, thank you all. And there's for... a great interview with Ernesto out there. <laughs> there is. There, yeah, it's we a shared great it. Interview. It's yeah. almost like they're talking about Sean. Yeah, yeah. he's on all those uh, the the Jalo Blu-rays. They go and talk to him. Yeah. You know, so he's, yeah. <laughs> we should have a night where we just watch his interviews and the Blu-rays. <laughs> see what he has to say. And suddenly, he's just always looking at me. Yeah. Even though it's he's lo- breaking the, the fourth wall, looking at Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, thank you again, all of you, for writing in. We really appreciate it. Uh, it's very entertaining. Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you have to watch tonight's movie, Significant Other, starting with... Colin. Oh, man. You're going to go first tonight. What did you think about Significant Other? Um, well, I'm, I'm realizing there's a common denominator in the movies that I like, and generally it's when I am engaged in the movie and I'm not far ahead of it and you're kind of bored. I wasn't bored with this. It was a very slickly made movie, so, I mean, I like that. I like uh, Micah Monroe, and I just, you know, like to see where she's going to go with her... Uh, career. I thought she was good in this. I thought Jake Lacey was good in this. Um, I did kind of have misgivings with the ending. It just felt um, unfinished in some way. But again, you know, it could be just how they set it up. I mean, the fact that he says he's a scout and there's an alien invasion coming kind of leads you to an ending where you're like, well, crap, there's no way we can really wrap this up. There's more on the way. And so I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm like, would that, you know, would that be one of those conversations that uh, that Paramount had in those back rooms, and they were like, "Yeah, this isn't playing." But the relationship thing, I guess, I liked. I liked watching the people. I liked what they were going through. I kind of liked this kind of exploration about what human love is and what you know. It's like, are we actually after trying to become the other person, or you want to get to know I them? I thought you wouldn't like that. No, I expected I didn't, you yeah. to not. No, like it, that part. if it's uh, Colin is a human being. I don't know if people know this. No, he's a robot. Oh, <laughs> he well, has emotion. This gives me insight into how how, <laughs> how and, humans react. Johnny Five I now is know alive. <laughs> how to act in the future. There you go. So, um, yeah, I this thought it was research for him. And, yeah. and it was, well, yeah, and it was, uh, <laughs> and it was, um, it was on theme. It kept to its theme. It was, I thought, well organized. I mean, like, yeah, I'm like, this is a pretty decent movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should check it out. Uh, Michaela, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't think you would like it, Colin. I thought once the gears shifted and it became a, like more comedic, you would be like, 
I expected to hear you uh, like <laughs> sigh in the back and be like, oh no, it's going to turn into a comedy. So I'm pleasantly surprised that you enjoyed it. But yeah, I think it actually kind of, re- this is my second time watching it, as we said, I, but I think it does reward a rewatch because it just changes the context of everything when you know everything. But um, I, I can see why actors would be attracted to this. So, like, it seems like a fun challenge to play all these different people and different people within other people. And, right. And you, you do know. get a lot of moments where you do get to, I mean, you get, they monologue. And yeah. So they, 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 they have something to bite into. Right. And- yeah. Yeah, and there's they have a lot of good relationship moments together and they have cringe moments together. I love like just the range of all that stuff. I I mean, and then I love the ridiculous stuff like like this alien fighting a shark and winning and ripping its head off, you know? That's I did not expect uh, I thought this was going to be like a paranoia drama about being lost in the woods, yeah, you know? That's what I thought or, it was going to be. Or or like or she's trapped in the woods with someone that yeah. you know that like she her husband's not who she, she thought he was right. you know or, or maybe even like that, she you know? doesn't have she doesn't know she, the yeah. people are dying and maybe it's her yeah. yeah or or like you know it kind of like the trailer kind of reminded me of that Natalie Dormer the forest movie yeah. it, it was the trailer was a lot of cameras spinning around her in the yes. woods and looking distressed kind of stuff so I was a little worried I was like I didn't have high hopes for this movie so I was very pleasantly surprised that it kept me engaged and it surprised me. And that even when I was like, I don't know about this, I still was engaged with it. Um, and I also like that we never see the alien in its like native form. Mm-hmm. We only see it, and mm-hmm. I like that bit of mystery to it. We know yeah. it's got the T-1000 blade, but that's all we really know about and it. Tentacle. And the tentacle. And yeah, the tentacle. and the pod That's thing. all you need. Yeah. Uh, and I just, I kind of like how like lo-fi and low budget and kind of scrappy and I like co- this is a good result of COVID. I think is little sure. gems like this. So I, yeah, I definitely think you should check it out. I wish it had more marketing behind it, but it's great. Sean, what do you think? I do think this movie feels uh, you do feel that scrappiness to it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. I'm kind of glad it doesn't have that um, marketing push behind it. Mm-hmm. Yes, it won't get seen by probably mm-hmm. as many people, but I think if you have that bigger marketing push behind it, a lot more gets revealed before you go in to watch mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. which I think you shouldn't know before going in to see this because it takes some turns and twists. Again, none of this in this movie is what I expected, um, and I mean that's the good thing about this movie. Um, it kept me on my toes. There are uh, always interested to see where it was going with the actor. I, I mean, I like Micah Monroe. Uh, I mean, Jake Lacey, I, I, I'm a fan of now just based on this, just cause I know he can go like, he can play both sides of that coin very well. Um, unexpected, which nowadays that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for unexpected, surprising, and it is, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's a fantastic movie, but it's a, it's a good, decent movie that I think is worthy of your attention. And I think you'll get you, if nothing else, you'll be interested by the movie. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll recommend it. Significant other. I think it was, yeah, it's worth watching. I was going to say something. I totally lost it. I so. saw that. <laughs> Whatever. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I yeah. think, uh, yeah, I think you should watch it. There's, there's, there's enough, there's enough meat on that bone. I think you get a good meal out of it. Mm-hmm. Holly, take us home. Yeah. So, um, I was looking at, 2022 movies and research for end of year and i came across this one and i was like oh i like micah monroe i like jake lacy let's check it out and that was literally all i knew about it so i went into this and i started watching i'm like okay nice little suspense we got going on and i was like this is a fucking alien movie Mm -hmm. like what is this movie so yeah texting with michaela we're both like yeah this is a freak show movie we have to watch oh yeah if this came out in the 80s like we would have done on the freak show by now right oh yeah this was an 80s movie 100 percent Hundred percent. Just a forty-five, yeah, uh, 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 a teenager who looks like a forty-five-year-old man with a yeah. mustache. It would have been yeah. like fucking alien finger. It would have been like, like without warning. Mm-hmm. Right. It would have yeah. been like right. that. Right. Yeah. It would have fit right in. Yes, there. Yeah. absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. I was very. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. Um. I think it's beautifully shot. I, I love this. I, not just the scenery, but the the camera work. I think is really gorgeous. Um, I think the actors do a wonderful job. I think it's very well written. I, I mean, yeah, we, you know, we nitpick and talk about its its faults, but it, it really does keep you engaged the entire movie. It's got some great twists that you don't see coming. Um, and I really love um, just in my research about the movie, the directors really hit home the alien reaction of society when someone says they don't want to get married Mm. when it's someone that they love like Mm -hmm. just the whole micah's perspective throughout this entire movie like how alien that is to other people right they said when they were pitching this movie at other production companies some of the producers flat out were like oh i don't like her because 
I don't understand like why is she turning him down and they were like this is why we need to do this movie Mm -hmm. and I was like I love that I love that they're just talking about this this concept that is so alien to people and making it an actual alien movie like I just love the the parallels yeah. yeah I love the parallels um and you know when asked uh, when the uh, I think it was Dan Burke, one of the directors, said, um, "I hope people like this movie, but if nothing else, I hope there's something for them to talk about." And I think that's what this movie is. There's mm-hmm. so much to talk about. There's so much to unpack. It tackles. Yeah, you'd hate it, to come like, out of them. You'd hate for someone to come out of your movie and be like, "Well, that was a movie." And yeah, they're just be quiet about they're it. Like, if they don't like it, I hope they're at least talking about it. That's and how I'm like, I felt about that's Antlers. Great. Yeah, right. like I right. felt like that like, movie was exiting like, well, me yeah. before it was even over. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. it like blew through me and whisked away. And I was like, "What well, was that? A whisper of the movie right. Antlers?" And that happened only like, the next woods over from this. Movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I I love how unexpected it was. I love what they did with the parallels with with her views on marriage, and then also her um, issues with anxiety. I thought were so so wonderfully represented. Um, yeah, I was very surprised by this movie. <laughs> Fuck you, aliens! You can't handle us. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I was not physiologically, ex- psychologically. Right. So overall, I was not expecting this movie to do any of the things that it did, and so yeah, I recommend the hell out of it. I think it's a great movie, and I agree with you, Michaela. It definitely re- a second watch. Mm-hmm. It's still a great movie. Second watch, mm-hmm. you're still picking up like things that you now that you know what's going to happen, mm-hmm. the details. Like it's a good time. So yeah, very much recommend. Well, that means that you have to watch it because it's Them's Freak Show rules. approved. Uh, Them's the rules. Significant other. Approved. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you for sticking with us this long. Uh, next week, we're going to watch on. a movie that shows them by. <laughs> what are we watching next week? Uh, we're staying in 2022. Oh, no. We're staying on Paramount Plus. Oh, no. We're watching Orphan First Kill. Ah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, so stay away from the mailbag then. All right. I'm glad Be- seriously, it. stay away. There's big spoilers for this. Awesome. Movie, so. Look Good. at nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I will continue to do so. Okay. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we hope you'll join us next week for Orphan First Kill. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.